is up my painting friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stoof. Today I found some inspiration from looking at cabins by the lake and I thought that would be a nice acrylic painting lesson to do. So I made this sketch merging a few photo ideas that I found online. So it's going to be like a snowy winter lake scene. Have a little cabin here. I'm going to see if we can illuminate the lights inside the cabin so it just gives us that glow and draws our attention right there have some big pine trees right behind it that fade out getting a little smaller as they get farther into the distance and then a nice sunset bright vibrant sky and we're gonna try to do this in one hour let's see if we can do that <laughs> all right we are working with acrylic paint today we have a 12 inch by 12 inch square canvas here i have a cup of water i have a set of brushes i'm working with three flat tipped brushes, about the same size, one's a little smaller, and then I have a larger semi-round brush that I'm going to use for just getting that first layer of paint down and maybe um, work on the sky a bit. And then I have a small round tipped brush that I can use for finer details in this painting. So I have cadmium yellow, I have titanium white, orange, cadmium red medium, crimson, ultramarine blue, this one's purple violet. This one's mauve purple. This is a cerulean blue, Prussian blue, black, and burnt umber. I'm gonna dip my brush in the water. Just get a little bit of Prussian blue. Really thin down with the water. I'm gonna start by just sketching the main horizon line, which looks something like this. A little bit more like that. And then we've got another little mountain in the background here. Just comes in like that. And then we've got our lake. The lake kind of goes like this. And we've just got a couple little rocks in the foreground here. Again. I can sketch out my little cabin here. I'm trying to figure, I think I'm going to move that down a little bit and move this one here and just pretend that line doesn't exist. <laughs> and we've got some snow there. We've got like a little bit of a um, perspective line there. All right, so we've got our cabin sketched out there. Now let's actually pull this little nub a little farther back. There we go. And we can start to put some lines in for trees, just so we know where some of these trees are gonna be. We have a reflection in the water that I'm gonna put in here just so we are clear <laughs> that when we paint, this is going to reflect the sky, and this is going to reflect that mountain right there. So this, we're going to paint the sky and also add some of those colors into the water here. All right, to start with the sky, I'm going to mix my cadmium yellow with some white and a little bit of that cerulean blue. Let's get a hint more cerulean blue and then some more white. And that's going to be like that base color in the sky there. I'm gonna add a little bit of purple to that too. Maybe a little bit of orange too. Sometimes we do get this green color in the sky, but I don't want it to be too green. And I'm just holding the brush kind of Holding the brush firmly, but pressing lightly on the canvas. And 
that's getting me a nice soft blend of these two colors here. Can take some more white here, brighten this up. And then if you get too much paint on your brush, you just wipe it off and that helps you to blend. If your brush is loaded with paint, it's harder to blend. Is there a little more yellow in here too? All right, that's looking nice. So now we can take some more of our cerulean blue and white and ultramarine blue. And we'll start to blend that into these colors. And you want to start with just getting that color all down on top of that, up like above, without really blending in uh, the blue. Get that blue down, and then once you get most of that paint off of your brush, and you have a nice, good layer of blue, then you could start to work your way down and let it blend into the colors you already painted. And you're very softly pressing on the canvas here so that it's letting you blend nice and smooth. You don't have too much paint on your brush either. Then we could start putting some of these colors in here. A reflection. A little bit of that orange down there too. Everything's a little bit darker as a reflection in the water. All right, now we can take some of our ultramarine blue and white. And what else? Let's take a little bit of Prussian. And we can start that right over top of our nice green blue and then blend it down very softly. See a nice smooth transition. Not too much paint on my brush, not holding, not pressing too hard on the canvas when I'm blending. Just covering up all that white space. Also wanna, I also wanna keep the same shape. So it's more of an arc here. All right, and then we can take even more blue, ultramarine blue, Prussian blue and phthalo blue. And let's take a little bit of that violet color too. And put that way up here. Oh, that's a nice dark sky. Just get all that paint on the canvas, cover up that white space. And then you wanna wipe down your brush if you still have too much paint on your brush and then blend that down. holding the brush going back and forth, up and down, trying to get a nice smooth blend of these colors. Just want to keep getting all that dark blue paint off. You can even like take a little bit more of your color that was right below that and try to bring it back up. You can start to do like some crisscross patterns with your brush. And I don't have very much paint on my brush, just very lightly adding these colors here. Then I can start to pull up this warm color again a little bit. Good. And then we'll go back to our dark color here. Take some more of our lighter blue and do that same sweep that we have here. We're just going to reflect. Nice. 
Okay. Now we're gonna let the sky dry a little bit before we start to add some nice warm clouds. We will start to work on our background here. So this is gonna be like a purple. We're gonna use our mauve purple with our ultramarine blue, a little bit of black and some white. Let's use a little more ultramarine blue. And we're just gonna fill this in. Just holding my brush like this so I can get a nice line right up at the edge. I don't want to have a perfectly straight line. I want it to have a little bit of jagged edge there so that I can imply that we have some trees really far off in the distance. Can even add some more white down here and get the excess paint off the brush. Blend that white up a little bit. And then we gotta put that mountain back here too, just a little bit. It's pretty far back, so it might not really fully make it into that shadowy spot there. Okay, and then we can just apply some more trees by holding the brush kind of at an angle. That's giving us a little bit of a textured top there. See those nice little jagged edges I'm getting there. And then we could take some dark color with our purple, Prussian and black. Blend that in with your white a little bit so it's not too dark. And then we, you know what? Let's use our fine brush. We're gonna use our fine tipped brush for this. And you just want to do like some, it's basically just making lines up and down with the brush, but you don't want it to stand out too much. Like you don't want to do a bunch of lines like this. You want it to be kind of blending with the colors you already have here. And it's giving you like a textured look. Like you have a bunch of trees. Just manipulating the paint with your brush. And once you get closer to the bottom, things start to get a little blurry. There's, we'll say it's a little foggy. <laughs> and we'll just take the excess paint off our brush and we'll kind of just let it blend out. Towards the bottom, it's not going to be as clear. Just maybe a couple here and there at the bottom. Okay. And do the same thing here, just get a little bit of this. All right, that's looking nice. Now, let's work on this one. It's a little closer. So as they move closer, we can get a little bit more greens and um, yellows visible. So this is gonna be more on the blue side, less on the purple side. So I got like the base hill covered up. I'm gonna take some of my cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, and white, and a little bit of my violet. And I'm just gonna put some snow right here. Snow is gonna come pretty close to the edge of the water. Let's do a nice little line there. Take the excess paint off the brush. of this with that snowy color just so I have like a base color to work with here 
not filling in the cabin color yet. All right, that looks nice. Now, let's work on, yeah, the sky is basically dry. So let's go back to the sky and then we'll add our trees in detail since the trees are closer to us and are gonna cover up some of the sky. Let's finish up the sky first and then we'll work on those trees. We're gonna use this medium round, uh, flat tipped brush and I'm gonna take some of my violet and some of my mauve purple and some of my ultramarine blue and white and a little bit of crimson so warm that up a bit all right that's good now I'm gonna take the excess paint off this brush so I'm kind of dry brushing so I have a little bit of paint on there but it's not too much uh, to where it's gonna actually have a texture and I'm just gonna brush it on really gently still seems like there's a little too much paint on my brush so I'm just getting all that extra paint off the brush I'm just gonna gently dry brush this paint on and then we can add a little more purple and some more ultramarine blue got a nice bright one up here Some more ultramarine blue and purple or violet. I keep calling that purple color violet. I guess they're close enough, right? Then dry brush again. So I'm taking all the extra paint off the brush and just letting that sweep down. And then we can take if it if it seemed like a, that wasn't dry brushed enough, just take some of your blue color again and blend that excess paint off your brush okay got a little more of this mauve color here very lightly putting the brush on the canvas here just trying to get a little bit of paint to show up on here too crazy. I'm taking a little more ultramarine blue, blending that in. And we've got some here. Can even mix in some white here. A little bit more mauve. Take that excess paint off the brush. And dry brush it out to get that nice textured, like, like it's just hazing out like clouds. It's getting really thin. Just lightening things up as they're getting further down in the sky, where the sky is lighter. And then we're darkening things. As they're closer to the top of the sky. Again, I wipe that excess paint off my brush and now I'm just dry brushing to pull this color down slightly and give it that cloud softness like it doesn't have a sharp physical end it just is kind of hazy I'm gonna switch to crimson with white what color does that give us all right let's add some orange and that's pretty close to what I'm looking for here and this is when things really Come to life with the sky. I'm holding the brush firmly but letting it very gently hit the canvas 
Let's take some more crimson and some mauve. Take the excess paint off your brush when you want to start blending. And just kind of blend that in right over your cool purple color. Let's get a little more orange. Put one right here. And some white. So a lot of this is going to get covered up. So we don't have to get too crazy with making the sky look perfect. So I'm very, very lightly letting the brush touch the canvas here just to put a little thin bit of paint on. Some more crimson, even more. Let's do crimson and red. Ooh. <laughs> some mauve, mauve and crimson, and white. Take the excess paint off your brush, just let that pull the color into each other. Kind of play around with the building up of these colors. Let's take some yellow, mix it in with orange, and our cadmium red and white. And throw some of that color here. Just put in a couple little spots where we want to warm things up. Take the excess paint off your brush and just let it blend in. You don't want to have any harsh lines here. You want to have very soft clouds. So you're very, very lightly holding the brush to the canvas to get that effect. up our colors in the sky. Violet <laughs> mixed with ultra marine blue and build up the dark colors at the corners. Brighten this up the hair right here. Maybe a little bit right there too. There. 
If we do orange, white, and yellow, I think that's going to be a nice color I want to use here. So I'm going to get the excess paint off the brush and just lighten this up a little bit right here. Very, very lightly letting that touch the canvas. That feels more readable to me. All right, now let's translate that down here. So we're going to do some of our crimson and white color kind of here. And since it's going this way here, it's going to have to go this way down here in our shadow or in our reflection. <laughs> and we can take some more of our violet with our mauve and some white, a little ultramarine blue, a little bit of Prussian, just start to add those colors back. If you want to make it easier on yourself, you could work on both at the same time. Then you don't have to come back and re-blend all your colors. Everything should match up pretty well if you do both the reflection and the actual sky at the same time. Take some more of our purple and some impression. I'll just start to throw some dark purple at us here. <laughs> some mauve. Doesn't have to be an exact perfect match, you know, just so it somewhat follows a similar pattern and your audience can understand what you're going with here. Alright, close enough for the reflection. Now let's uh, get this filled in here. So I'm going to take some white, my um, Prussian blue, and my cerulean blue, and some purple. A little bit of black. Let's take more Prussian. It's going to be a little bit darker in the water here, so we'll just fill this in first. I'm just going to take a little bit of a lighter color here because we're going to have a reflection there, and I don't want to forget about that. to the darker color, just filling in everything here. I'm trying to keep that same shape that I had. All right, and we got our rocks right in the foreground there, which for now I'm just gonna paint black. these rocks a little bigger. OK, 
Okay, we can take some black. You want to get your brush nice and flat and just go over that line where the water meets land. We're going to have a little bit of exposed rock here where I just covered up with black. good. Snow on the house, so let's get our cerulean blue mixed with white and some purple. And let's do more white so we get a little lighter. And it's a little different color than the other snow, but I think that's okay for now. Helps us separate where the house is. Alright, that's the rooftop there, and then we got some brown. Mix with purple and black, and that's going to give us our side of the cabin here. Even a little more Prussian blue could be added to that, it's going to be really dark. And then on this side it's going to be lighter, so I'm going to take some orange and mix that with my brown and some cadmium red. And we'll leave this right here. We're just gonna take some white and yellow for now. Just fill that in. <laughs> fill that in. Take a little black. And just kind of go around that little spot on the door there. Okay, let's get a little bit of black and do our chimney too. All right, so right now it doesn't look the best, but that's okay. We know we're headed in the right direction. So now we can start to work on the trees and that's what's gonna really bring this to life. Then we'll for finish the details on this cabin. And you know what, we might actually have a little reflection of this cabin too. So let me throw some of that in here. I didn't think of that before. Let's we'll put that little spot there. Okay. Now we won't forget about the cabin. I'm gonna switch to my other flat tipped brush. It's a little larger, but it's a newer brush so I can get a little bit better lines with that. I'm gonna take some black, some Prussian blue, and our violet. <laughs> and we'll start with just all the shadows on the trees and then we'll uh, work on the snow on all the branches and a little bit of light on there. All right, so we've got to hold the brush this way so that you get a nice straight line. And you can still kind of see where I had those tree trunks before. So I'm going to play with that and just start there. So we're going to do a nice straight line coming down. And now I'm going to hold my brush kind of at an angle, bringing it into the center here. And that's giving me the nice little limbs on the trees. And these trees are heavy with snow, so they're not angled up, they're angled, the branches are angled down. Whenever your paint um, markings start to get too thin, then just start layering up the paint. So I have a lot of paint on my brush right now. And you also want this to get a little bit more wide at the base. You don't want to have perfectly symmetrical sides. You want to have like random little limbs coming out in different spots. 
and just keep patting and dabbing and adding your little branches until you get to the bottom of the tree, which is like right here. And then you kind of want to have like a little little half circle, I guess, coming out. So it kind of makes a little bit of a round bottom there. Since the tree is three dimensional, it's not it's not going to be flat bottom, it's going to have a round bottom like that. Okay. And we just keep doing that for all of the little trees. If you um, want, you can even do like hold the brush nice and flat, and that'll give you like a little bit more of the. You could just go down like this, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> just hold the brush nice and flat, and instead of pulling in and going up to the center, you could just dab this with your flat tipped brush. That's actually probably faster. Just come right down to the top of that cabin. And another one here. You want to make sure you still have lots and lots of paint on your brush. bit of this tree visible there right around the back of the cabin. And then you want to also pull these trees down here into the water reflection. And if it's easier for you to flip, <laughs> if it's easier for you to flip over the canvas and do it with the tree looking like it's right side up, you can do that too. That might be easier for you. I'm basically just adding trees until I cover up most of this blue background here. And we can add some more. If you take some of your cerulean blue mixed with your Prussian and a little bit of black that's already on the brush, you can start to add some farther back. Let's add more cerulean. Um, and if you make them lighter by not, not using as much black, then it kind of starts to give you depth. And you also need to make these trees a little smaller. Just kind of start to peek some through here in the back. Let's do some more over here. And then as we're getting farther away, we can just start doing some straight lines like this. Just dabbing up and down, giving us that textured look of 
trees going off into the distance. Or you can't exactly see all of the limbs on the trees anymore. Starting with the brush pressed firmly down and then picking it up as I move up. Add some black, some purple, and some more Prussian blue at the bottom of these. Start and just pull up the brush, lift the brush up as you add those in there. And then we can take some white again, some cerulean, ultramarine, and then we can add some highlights in front of it. Basically we're just starting to build up a forest. And we're building up this forest by adding more and more lines in front of each other here. Then I do dark again at the base. And we want to also have that in the reflection here. It just really starts to look realistic once you add that reflection, doesn't it? Pull this down, or up I should say. Add some more black and blue. Start to build up our texture or our, um, our depth in the forest by adding these little shadows. It is building up texture too, though. <laughs> like more barren, just some snow here. So I'm getting the excess paint off this brush, and I'm taking my cerulean mixed with white and ultramarine blue, and let's use some mauve purple too. And lighten that up even more. And we'll just kind of lighten up the snowy spots here, kind of pulling that at an angle right up to the tree line. Now we gotta add a little bit of ultramarine blue there, and let's add a little bit of the purple and a little bit of the Prussian blue just to cool that down for the water. Then we really get it to start looking realistic with this reflection here. Take some of our white and our cerulean blue. Build up this again. A little snowbank. Add some more white. It's gonna be really bright snow here because we're gonna have some light reflecting from the cabin. Pull that snow color out. Let's add a little bit of that reflection here. And we'll carry out that reflection in the shadow. Let's add a little dark spot here and here. I'm just going to take some black, put a little line there. And then, let's see, let's take more of our ultramarine blue, a little Prussian blue, a little more Prussian blue. This is going to be snowy part in shadow, so it's going to be a little cooler down here. We want to blend that in with our lighter snow color. It doesn't have to be a perfect blend though, because we have a little texture in the snow. This should be a little darker down here, huh? Just 
add a little bit of a shadow there. All right, now let's darken up some of the trees and add a little more to them here. So I'm just gonna darken this guy up a little bit just to pull it forward a little so he doesn't quite get lost in the background there. Same with this one. And we'll add a little bit here too. here. Oops, let's take some more pressure in. Just make a couple of these ones in the foreground be a little bit darker so they stand out. And this guy looks like he wants to have a little bit of tree limbs. <laughs> work on the detail in the rocky spots a little bit here so I'm just gonna take some ultramarine blue some white more ultramarine blue I'm just gonna add like a couple little rocks here I'm getting way more detail than I need to get you guys don't have to do this <laughs> and that's just, and then a little highlight on top of those rocks just using the little angle of my brush here. Could be a little bit of snow on top of the rocks or just a little reflection of light. And whatever you do on the rock on the surface, you have to do to the rock in the water or the rock reflection in the water just to make it look a little more real. just making little shapes. I'm just implying that there are some rocks here. Can I even take some white. That's mixing with that ultramarine blue just a little bit. And we can do, actually let's get a little more white. And just do like a nice line right at the spot where the water meets. A couple little lines in here will give us that nice reflection of water look. If you want to dip your paintbrush in the water, that'll give you an even thinner reflection line. Now that really looks like water, right? <laughs> okay, and let's do a couple more little highlights here. Let me add a few more rocks right in the front here. Put a little bit of snow on these rocks right here in the foreground. Can add some purple into these the snow here. Like it's kind of reflecting the light in the sky. And then some more blue on the back end here because it's going to be cooler. Make sure you add the rocks in the water too. And I think I want to take more ultramarine blue and build up the shadowy color down here just a little more in the snow. That's nice. All right, gonna clean off that brush. <laughs> I've now gone through two Paper towels, let's get another set of paper towels. So the trees are still drying a little bit. I don't wanna put the snow on the trees until it's totally dry or else the white will blend with the black. So let's add, let's, let's work on the detail in the house a little bit. And I'm gonna work on the snow on top of the house. A little bit more here. Add some purple, mauve purple there. And we'll just 
get that color going again. You don't want to have a perfectly straight line here. You want to have a little bit of a wavy line because the snow is not going to make a perfectly flat line. And then we mix some of our two blues, our cool blues, ultramarine blue and Prussian blue. And we're going to put, oop, got a hair on the canvas. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of that shadowy blue under the snow there. Just like that, nice and soft transition into the warm snow color. And then we can take some white, let it blend with those blues a little bit, and then just kind of, we can warm up the snow a little bit. Let it go over your shadows a little. And this side's gonna be shadow. And let's even take some colors from the sky. We can take a little bit of our orange, our crimson, white, a little more crimson there, and our mauve. And let's see what it looks like if we start to reflect those colors a little. But we would see something like this in nature, right? <laughs> Maybe. All right, and we'll start to add some of those colors in the water here too. We have a reflection. Then let's take some black, just straight black, and we're gonna underline the snow. And then we need to make a roof base there, so we're going to use some black for that too. My hands are shaky because I just drank a whole thing of coffee. And then we could take some orange. I'm going to dip that in the water. And then I'm just going to take my brush and pull those lines back. Little and then take some black and blue again and just kind of like bring the lines back. So it's just layers and layers and layers. So I'm going to take some orange, mix that with yellow, and I'm going to put that right at the top. And same thing with the little door here. Then we'll take some white, mix with yellow, and add that at the bottom of the little window. And we'll add a little bit in there too. And then we get to take some crimson, some cadmium, some yellow, and lots of white. Gives us like a warm, soft red orange. And that color is gonna start right here and just kind of drag out. And that's gonna give us a nice glow from the cabin. Can add some more yellow, orange too, like right here. And let that color kind of fade out into our purples. I feel like this part would still be lit up a little bit. It looks nice. We could take our brown, mix a little bit of black in there too, and we're just gonna make a little line right there, a little line right there, 
And then things are gonna brighten up a little bit on the cabin, so I'm mixing my orange. I didn't clean off the brush, just mixing orange with whatever I had there, or the orange-yellow mixture, I guess I should say. And I'm just gonna start to add some light onto these little log spots on the cabin. And it's gonna get more red towards the top. All right, now let's add the snow to the trees. So I'm gonna take my white and mix it with a little bit of ultramarine blue and a little bit of purple, a little bit of, of um, cerulean blue. Now we're just gonna take, uh, you know what? Let's use a different brush. We wanna use a flat tipped brush. So we're gonna take that color and just go over the spots that we just painted dark but with the snow and you want to cover up the tops of the black part so that the snow is appears to be on top of the limbs and you kind of want to have it going down in the front areas and then out to the side a little bit kind of let the brush do its thing again and then let's add some more blue. As we're getting towards the bottom, it's gonna get a little darker. And we're just gonna keep doing that to all of our little trees here. Get nice and lighter at the top. We could even start to include some of the warmer colors, so add some crimson, and that can show a little bit more of the sky colors are bouncing off there just at the tops Have more of a cool blue at the bottom, so add more of your blues. the same thing we did when we first made these trees. Now it's just going right on top of those darker shadows. Let's add some more white. think about the trees in the front are going to be a little bit more detailed and visible than the trees farther in the background. But then as we start to get farther out here, we kind of just lose a lot of the texture or a lot of the detail. Just 
adding a little bit of highlight or a little bit of snow to these spots here. Let's go to that warm color again. darken the reflection of the house here. So I'm just going to take some of my darker colors. It's blue, brown, and black. Just add that there. Let's take some more blue. Let's kind of further define the edges there. And then we got to get that reflection of the light. Take some white, yellow, orange. Mix with red, throw that color back in here. And some of our orange, yellow. All right, we're, so the water ripples here, we're gonna need to have a little bit of a shadow on them there. And some of them need to also brighten up and be warm. I'm going to take that light color, dip it in the water a little bit, and we'll have some nice light reflections. And you just have to have a shadow behind those. There we go. Alright guys, thanks for watching. That concludes this tutorial. If you have any recommendations uh, for future painting videos or if you, have any, if you have any requests for tutorials you'd like to see, then please leave a comment below and I will add that to my list of paintings to create. And other than that, have a great day and happy painting. Bye bye!